Hello! This is Fred Lears of HPDI, Health Products Distributors, Inc. And today, I'm in the kitchen demonstrating a new product we call pH Adjust. Now, this is the bottle. This provides 250 grams of a fluffy white powder that contains potassium bicarbonate, magnesium carbonate, and sodium bicarbonate. And the purpose of this product is to alkalinize. Um, I've done some other videos on this product, but today I'm actually going to show you how to use it and how it works. Um, I typically take it in the morning. Um, a dose is a quarter of a teaspoon. Now, I have worked my way up and I am now up to perhaps a teaspoon in the morning. Um, occasionally I'll take a smaller dose in the morning and then an additional dose in the evening away from food because it alkalinizes and so it, it actually buffers acids and you need obviously you need stomach acid to digest your food so I would recommend taking it at least 10 to 15 minutes before you eat and then if you've already eaten wait a couple hours or, you know maybe you don't have to wait that long but you want to give your food a chance to digest this is actually turning into one of our more popular products already because there's nothing really quite like it on the market a lot of people have used sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, for similar purposes. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you how I use the product. Now, one of the main things that I like to do is test my pH, because how are you going to know how alkaline or acidic you are unless you're actually testing your pH? We sell these little, um, these little rolls of pH paper. This is the Hydreon brand. I'm going to open it up and show you. They are all different kinds of brands. This one measures pH from 5.5 to 8. It comes in a little plastic container with a roll providing um, a significant number of... It's probably enough for 100 tests. So I highly recommend you can probably get these for about $10. We sell them on our website, integratedhealth.com. Um, so I'm going to show you. I actually did a test this morning after taking pH Adjust. Now, perhaps I should have done it before I took my pH adjust, but I just want to show you. Um, this is what my test strip from this morning looks like. Um, I don't know if you can see it super well, but you can see it's more or less purplish. And here is the card that comes with the pH paper showing acidity and alkalinity. Now, when you're in the yellow and green range, you are acidic, and when you are in the blue or purple range, it indicates that you're alkaline. It's litmus paper. It's commonly used in, in chemical labs, but this is great because you can use this. Um, I tested my salivary pH this morning. Um, a good, a more stable um, test indicator would be urinary. You can just use a small cup, dip it in. That is very, gives you a very good indication of your pH, but you can use, um, you can, you can test use the test strips orally or dip it in a small amount of saliva if you don't feel like putting it in your mouth like I do, just for a second or two. All right then, so I have about four ounces of water. This is pure, fresh water from my water ionizer. And, um, you know, I'll often do this in up to eight ounces of water, but four ounces is a good amount to, to start with. And here's the product. It actually tastes pretty good. It has some actually some potassium glycinate in it, which um, imparts it a nice flavor from the glycine. So uh, here I have a quarter teaspoon measure. It actually comes with a scoop. We provide a scoop when you purchase it. The scoop is probably, if you measure it at the line, um, closer to half a teaspoon, but we provide this anyway, and you can measure this yourself and see um, how much you'd like to take using this handy dandy scoop. But for my purposes, I like to measure using a perhaps um, a little more rigorous method. This is my quarter teaspoon measure. Now I, I'm, I'm going to slightly round it, take a slightly rounded amount and put it right into the water. And I'm going to stir it up. Now, I like to give it about five minutes to fizz. It sort of has a light effervescence. And there have been times when I've drunk it like um, pretty much right away and you know you can sometimes feel some of that bubbly stuff but that's about the extent of it it's not going to give you serious 
burping episodes or anything like that. So you can see um, it, it dissolves pretty quickly in the water. Um, if you let it sit, there will be some sediment that kind of comes to the bottom and can kind of cake a little bit. That's why I don't like to let it sit too long and give it a good stir and you know, wait about five minutes. Now for purposes of this video, I think I'm just gonna drink it. It's probably been close to a minute now. So I'm gonna, I'm going to enjoy my second dose of the day. And I haven't had any other meals, no lunch or dinner. Actually I had lunch, but I haven't had my dinner yet and I'm gonna have that in probably 20 minutes. So I'm good. All right, bottoms up. Ah, that, that's really, actually, not only does it kind of taste good, it's not really sweet, it's just kind of a smooth, silky flavor, just like the powder is kind of fluffy, well, it just kind of goes down really easy, and for those of you who might want something a little sweeter, you're welcome to use it in juice, um, or um, you could add some stevia drops or something like that, but for most people, you're going to find that it just goes down as is perfectly. So this is the product. It's, it's pH adjust. And I'm gonna do one last test here. I'm gonna take a, a piece of pH paper. And the, again, it's the Hydreon brand. It's brand new. I just took it off the roll. And um, I'm gonna dip it in the residue. Maybe I should have dipped it <laughs> in the liquid itself, but sorry, that's gone. So I'm just gonna dip it in the residue and look, look at that immediately. How purple is that? That's, um, that's actually off the charts because this particular pH paper um, measures up until pH of 8.0. You can obtain papers that will give you um, a pH, that will measure a pH of up to say 12 or, or perhaps higher, which is, you know, you don't really want to be <laughs> at a pH that's so alkaline. Um, however, most people are acidic. This is one of the reasons we developed this product. Most people have pHs in the range of, say, you know, five something or maybe six something. And so the average person testing their pH is going to be kind of in the yellow range, maybe a little bit into the green, um, unless they've just had a big salad or a big glass of chlorella or, you know, or something very alkaline for me. Um, so what you can see here is, is that, you know, the ideal pH is actually between 7.35 and 7.45 approximately. Um, and the average person's pH is acidic. Um, and acid conditions in the body um, create health issues, let's just say. And being alkaline is a good thing. Um, more and more this is becoming known. And there's many ways to become alkaline. Potassium produces alkalinity and things like avocados or bananas or any leafy green. Um, vegetarians are typically more um, alkaline than meat eaters. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't be alkaline by eating more fruits and vegetables. Everyone knows they probably don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. Um, of course, I know a lot of people who do. Um, but they tend to be more alkaline. Alkalinity may not be as much of their problem, but for the average person, you can really benefit from pH adjust because those potassium levels are gonna drive your alkalinity, as you just saw. So when I say off the charts, I literally mean it because if you look on here, here's 8.0, and if you compare that to this test strip, um, you know, it's at least eight. Now that, of course, should be expected. This is a product that's going to alkalinize you. Um, you know, there's a balance to be maintained with acidity and alkalinity, and you would like to be more on the alkaline side. So this product, as you see, is very powerfully alkalinizing, which for the average person is gonna be a good thing. If you're already very alkaline, and you can determine that by measuring your pH using litmus paper, um, then maybe you don't need as much, or maybe you don't need it at all. But um, it's nice to know that for a, a typical person eating a typical diet, um, that you can begin to move yourself into the more alkaline range of pH and easily. 
Now, this product we just came out with, uh, it retails for approximately $20. Um, and it provides 250 servings. That's uh, 250 grams, one gram per serving. And so this could last you, you know, a long time. Let's say you took a quarter teaspoon a day. That's the better part of a year. What is it? Almost more than half a year. So um, that's why this product is um, turning out to be really popular. And um, we're big believers in it. And so I just wanted to be here in the kitchen today and show you how it can be used easily to make you alkaline and to boost health by giving you the benefits that alkalinity confers to your body. So this is Fred Lears with Health Products Distributors, HPDI, signing off from the kitchen. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.